going on YouTube? <clears throat> kind of nervous on this first video I'm uh, going to put out here. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been driving a truck right out a year now. Uh, and I see a lot of videos out here, a lot of YouTube channels. They're real informative. I'm, I'm subscribed to a bunch of them. I've learned a lot of stuff just off YouTube itself. Different, uh, different subscribe, you know, different people that's got the channels. But uh, there's something I've been seeing that I've not that I've not been seeing enough of. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, I hear, you know, all the information about different stuff about trucks, loads, how to do this, working on, you know, all the stuff, all the steps to do stuff. But, uh, you know, about a year and a half ago, I was uh, going through a dark spell of my life. And uh, I seen a video on YouTube. His name was uh, Fred the Felon was his name. And uh, he was talking about how you can... You know, have a background, uh, uh, felony, you know, this and that, and still got to get a CDL license and uh, be successful. And that's what planted the seed within me to make me take myself to uh, CDL school, you know. And uh, I just have to say, I, I, I won't let anybody out there know that, that there is hope out there, man. Don't let your past drag you down, you know. I, I, I have a past, you know, pretty rough past uh, history. And I let it haunt my future. A lot of times they have me doomed, you know, working manufacturing jobs, you know, doing just whatever, you know, five, four, five, six hundred dollar a week jobs, you know, you know, busting my tail, trying to get just enough money to make ends meet. And uh, I was able finally to get down to CDL school down in Cartersville, Georgia. I live in North Georgia. Uh, and now I drive a truck. I've got this Freightliner Cascadia. I'll go into that on a whole other video. But uh, things are great, man. You know, it's... Uh, 90% of people I don't even don't discriminate about your background. They don't, you know, certain hazmat jobs, they might want to know if you've been hauling bombs or something in your past or, or you know, but just the fact of the matter is, if you if you got a work ethic and common sense, those two things intertwine them together, and you can be super successful in the trucking world. I, I come from a family that's never been in trucking, not a friend of mine, not nobody I've known to drive a truck. You know, very few people along the way, you know, in my life, the story that never nobody really, you know, educate me on it or try to show me anything with it. And I've had to live and learn a lot out here on my own. I've had a couple thousand dollar tickets. It was just a, you know, rookie mistake stuff. But, uh, yeah, I hope this channel reaches out to somebody, man. Just know that there's hope. There is a hope. There is a better day. Me and my wife has, uh, it's unreal. Like, I, I could just go into it for days and days about what and all's changed in my life, uh, We've, we've just, you know, financially been blessed to the max, and it's all, you know, come from God, number one, but this, this, he put me into this truck, and if I'd only known about this 10, 15 years ago, there's no telling where I would actually be sitting practice in it. But, you know, what better time than the present? Anyway, I'm going to put this first video out there. I hope uh, somebody sees it and brings a little inspiration to somebody. I just dropped a load off here in Alabama, and I'm uh, picking up another load in Alabama, fixing to go to Pennsylvania, but first video on here so uh, if y'all like it you know hit the like button or however it works uh, yeah hope y'all have a great day man kill you instructor